This is a proof from Euclid's Elements, Book 1, Proposition 29, the converse to the alternate interior angle theorem. What this result says is that if we are given two lines, L and M, and these two lines are parallel, then for any transversal K, which cuts through them, the alternate interior angles are congruent. This is the converse of Proposition 27, which says that if the alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines L and M are parallel. Now in this video, we'll do a little bit more than just prove Proposition 29. We'll also show that Proposition 29 is equivalent to Playfair's axiom. We introduced this in a previous video and showed that Playfair's axiom was in fact logically equivalent to Euclid's fifth axiom in the context of neutral geometry. As a quick refresher, what Playfair's axiom says is that given a line L and a point P not on that line, there exists a unique line M, such that M passes through the point P and M is parallel to L. So in this video, we're going to actually prove two things. We'll prove that assuming Playfair's axiom or assuming Euclid's fifth axiom, we can prove this proposition, which we'll refer to as the AIAT converse for short. Also note, as an added bonus, we previously proved that Euclid's axiom 5 was logically equivalent to Playfair's axiom. If we show that the AIAT converse is equivalent to Playfair's axiom, by transitivity, we'll also have a bonus result for free, that the AIAT converse is equivalent to Euclid's fifth axiom. So, let's begin. First, we'll assume that Playfair's axiom is true, and we'll show that we can prove Proposition 29. We start with two parallel lines, L and M, and a transversal K, which cuts through them. We want to show these two alternate interior angles, marked here with alpha and beta. We'd like to show that these two are congruent. Let's begin a proof by contradiction and assume that these angles are in fact not equal. Well, in that case, let's create another line N through the point P such that the angle that N makes with K, that angle is equal to alpha. Now, by an earlier proposition, Proposition 27, the alternate interior angles theorem says that since N and L have alternate interior angles equal, both equal to alpha, then the lines L and N must be parallel. However, Playfair's axiom, which we're assuming, states that there is exactly one parallel line to L through this point P. Therefore, this line N cannot exist, which means that our original assumption, the angles alpha and beta were different, that assumption must be false, so the original angles, alpha and beta, were equal, and this is the conclusion of the alternate interior angle theorem converse. Next, we'll prove the reverse implication. We'll show that, assuming the AIAT converse, that we can show Playfair's axiom is true. We begin with our line L and a point P not on L. To show that Playfair's axiom is true, we have to show that there is a unique line through P parallel to L. Well, here's one way to create a parallel line. Let's construct a perpendicular to L through the point P. We'll call that line K. Next, we observe that any line parallel to L through this point P, we know that the alternate interior angles must be equal. This is what the AIAT converse theorem says. These two angles are equal that means that M must be the perpendicular to K through P. There's only one line perpendicular to line K through the point P. Therefore, this parallel line is unique. There is only one parallel through this point. Why this is unique? It wasn't really stated in Euclid's original list of axioms, but later on, when the mathematician David Hilbert introduced a new set of axioms to give a rigorous foundation for Euclidean geometry, one of his axioms, congruence axiom number four, this axiom guarantees the uniqueness of this line. 
So this completes the proof that the alternate interior angle theorem's converse, Euclid's Proposition 29, is in fact logically equivalent to Playfair's axiom.